in today's episode of Before You Ride, we're just going to be answering the question of what do I need to transport my dirt bike, and this is this whole series is mainly just about answering the questions that you might have as someone looking to get into riding. So this isn't a how-to transport, I will do a video like that in probably the next series. This is just kind of going over and giving you an idea of what you're going to need to transport your dirt bike. And so to start off, you're going to need some sort of vehicle that can transport your dirt bike. So that can be like a pickup truck, a van, a trailer. Um, sometimes there's also like racks that you can hook in where you would put a trailer hitch that can hold your bike. And so that's kind of what you would need as like a vehicle transportation for your bike. Now, another thing that you're gonna need, especially if you're loading your bike into a pickup truck, is going to be a ramp to, you know, roll the bike off the ground into the vehicle. And after that, you're gonna need a way to have your bike secured. So that's where straps can come in. Other people come up with creative ways with like, I don't know, chains or things like that. But the most common way is um, just tie down straps. And then another thing that helps if you're loading it into a truck, something that I always carry with me if I'm transporting my bike, is I'll take my work stand and set it to the side of the ramp when I'm loading it in so that I have, a, I have something to step onto from the ground to the tailgate so it's not me just stepping from the ground onto the tailgate because that would obviously be really difficult where the bike is heavy and you're trying to push it up on there. And so, kind of more of a simple video, but hopefully that kind of answers some of the questions that you might have if you're thinking of how you're gonna need to transport your dirt bike. For some people, you may not need to. Maybe you live on like a farm or something and once your bike's there, it's probably just gonna stay there. You're never really gonna move it. And so if that's the case and you don't have a vehicle to transport your bike, then really all you need to worry about is just finding a friend or something who can just move it that one time for you. But yeah, hopefully that kind of answers the question.